Hey, so what's going on everybody? Just want to share a little insight I got from watching this Steve Harvey clip, right? And it's all about raising the bar, raising that lid off that most of us place on ourselves, but not only that, people around us, you know, impose the limiting beliefs, right? So, and also most importantly, raise your income. Remember this, I want you to raise your, I challenge you to raise your income, why? Because on the show he was talking about, if you ask most individuals about what they want in life right now, you know, um, when it comes to like, you know, type of house, type of car, most individuals will, will settle for, you know, not putting what they really want, you know, whether it be an Audi R8, you know, a Lamborghini, a Range Rover, a Benz. Why? Because they made their decisions based on the current reality, based on, you know, if they don't have a job, based on um, working for minimum wage, they don't believe they can have, you know, that dream house. That dream lifestyle of traveling and seeing the world, you know, spoiling the family, whatever, whatever it is for them. So I want to challenge you guys um, to raise your income, raise your belief, right? Because, you know, we grow up with so many goals and dreams and then shrink them, shrink them to match our reality. No, no, you got to upgrade your faith, upgrade your belief and understand that it's possible. You know, at any given time, why, why do you see people going from nothing to something? Why do you see people going from dead broke to six and seven figures? Listen, it's possible for you, man. It's possible for any of us. So I want, I encourage you and challenge you to raise your income and raise your income by finding a way to invest your money so it can work for you and not looking for another job. You see, I was listening even to um, Tony Robbins. He talked about that's one of the biggest financial mistakes people make. You know, the, the first job is not working. What makes you think the second one is? Right? So rather than trading even more time for money, find ways to have your money uh, work for you. Right? Trade money for money. So I encourage you guys to find ways to invest your money, have it work for you, raise your income, and don't shrink your dream. All right? Stay blessed. Your boy Gavin saying no. Be great.